Web browser cookies don't really have much in common with the kind that comes out of an oven. Browser cookies are basically virtual note cards. They're dropped on your computer by websites. It's called setting a cookie to be read back again later. Just like real-world note cards, cookies are used to help websites remember things. When you log in at an online store, for instance, that site is probably setting a cookie. Each cookie contains a few pieces of information about itself. What website it's from, when it expires, what it's about, and then the actual reminders. Often the reminder is stored in code that only makes sense to the website. Depending on the site, cookies can be used for a lot of things, from shopping carts to your preferences of how you want to view the site. Cookies can also be used in a different way when you visit sites with advertisements. When, for instance, you go to a news website with ads, the ads are actually coming from a different site than the news pages. The ad site knows that it's sending its ads through the news site, and it sets a cookie on your computer to remind itself of that. When you visit other sites with ads from the same ad site, it sees its cookie and writes in the new sites on the list. This way, the ad site can start to get a picture of what you're interested in and show you ads based on what kind of sites have been showing up on the cookie it's set. Now, is this a good or a bad thing? That's something you'll have to decide for yourself. On the good side, when ads know more about what you're doing, the ads you see might be more interesting. But on the bad side, it's basically like having the ad site looking over your shoulder as you browse the web. If you don't like ad sites keeping a list of where you go, most browsers let you turn off cookies. But you normally have to turn them back on again when you go back to something like an online store. Alternatively, you can choose to look at where each one of your cookies is coming from and reject the ones you don't want. Some software out there can also help you with this. All things considered, cookies can be a useful thing on the web. They help websites remember things about you, but it's up to you to decide which ones have that privilege.